Dear friends, I offer my warm greetings as we approach the 25th anniversary of the World Harmony Run and related activities for a culture of peace. I believe that all global citizens are eagerly looking toward the next decade, 2022 and beyond, as a time of great progress and striking change. It is imperative that we work together to build a true oneness world. Among recent initiatives to strive toward this goal, the World Harmony Run is one of the most remarkable and far-reaching. It was launched by Shri Shinmoy in 1987, and even after his passing in 2007, continues to grow, advancing important ideals of UNESCO and of the entire United Nations community. For my part, I would like to highlight a few specific activities that the World Harmony Run has already undertaken or inspired. It is my hope that these activities can be further expanded and enriched in the coming decade. The Run has visited a number of UNESCO World Heritage Sites in recent years. Runners and other participants you perform a great service by encouraging people to experience and value the heritage of others. The simple but striking World Harmony Run theme song has been performed enthusiastically in many locations. Multilingual musical performances provide joyful ways to express harmony and to share unique talents. Harmony themed at exhibits and poetry events associated with the run are wonderful occasions to bring people together to express universal aspirations. Appreciating diversity strengthens us as we exchange and share the wealth of our multifarious cultures in the spirit of peace we realize that there is far more that unites than divides us. Interfaith harmony is important to all civil society. The World Harmony Run has been welcomed by people of many different religions, beliefs and faith-based communities. Passing the harmony torch is a simple, tangible and powerful way to express love of one's neighbor. Conveying this message of interfaith harmony and understanding in churches, mosques, synagogues, temples, and other places of worship will surely help foster a culture of peace and a growing feeling of universal oneness. The Torchbearer Award Program, which acknowledges individual efforts at both the international and grassroots levels, is a wonderful idea. Please continue to recognize and honor pioneers in peacebuilding from all age groups so that others may be inspired to emulate and build upon their important contributions. This last example is most important. By providing opportunities for individuals and communities to express their hopes for peace, you strengthen the social, cultural, and spiritual fabric that connects the entire world family. Young people, as well as older individuals, will discover creative new ways to bring forward the best in each of us, ways we have yet to imagine. Encouraged to make their unique contributions, all members of the world family will help to move our dreams closer to reality. All these efforts can renew our shared commitment, so necessary in our sometimes troubled world. The next decade will inevitably require continuous renewal of our patience, determination and enthusiasm. No matter how challenging the circumstances ahead, I invite you to take to heart two resounding messages of the founder of this run. First, never give up, and always strive to do more. In Shri Shinmoy's words, there is only one perfect road, 
and that road is ahead of you, always ahead of you.